Here's how I'd learn Notion if I had to start over. Look, nowadays I'm a Notion nerd, but before I blossomed into this database wizard, I would open up Notion and be like, whoa, what's the deal with Notion? But now I open up Notion and I'm like, good morning Notion, this is very intuitive to me. So in this video, I'll show you how to use Notion if I hadn't used Notion before, because if you're struggling to do basic stuff in Notion, you might as well just give up on your goals right now. Open up that vision board for me, delete that photo of Bali, delete that photo of that six pack, delete that photo of an infinity pool, because if you don't learn Notion right now, you will never, ever swim in an infinity pool. Part one, projects. So the first thing that you need to do in your Notion, if you're new here, is add your project. Now there's a bunch of different ways we could do this. We could just write project one, project two, but obviously that's stupid. So what we're going to do instead is use the power of databases. Now there are a ton of different types of databases in Notion and it might be kind of confusing. You're like, well, what, what does all of this stuff mean? So we'll make it very easy. What you're going to do is click on this one, gallery view. So gallery, if you don't know, means it's a gallery. You could have figured that out yourself though. So here is project and here we will write project one and project, get this, Two. And here you can add all of your different projects. So we'll click on the three dots, we'll click on layout. And then here where we have card size, we're going to change it from medium to small because we don't need it that large. And also if you want to, you can click on these three dots up here and you can click on full width. So the first thing you're going to do is add all of your different projects in here. This is really important because we want Notion to be your one hub for everything. You don't want one app for your projects, one app for your tasks, one app for your calendar, one app for your notes, etc. It's too much. You're checking a bunch of different websites. You're wasting your time. We want one dashboard where we have everything. So now we have projects. The next thing we're going to do is add tasks. So we're going to do another database and this is going to be a table view. So Tables in Notion, I'll just explain it real quick. But basically you have these kind of tables. These ones are just like normal, like you would find in Word or whatever. They're not that special. We don't want to use that because it doesn't connect with anything. And then the next thing you have is these here, which are just normal to-do list items, to do one. But the thing with these is, again, it doesn't connect with anything. There's no data. So we want to use databases. These are so, so smart. And since we're learning Notion from scratch, the three things we want to have in here is projects, tasks, and one more thing, but I'm gonna wait for that to increase retention. So here we're going to have two new one, and we'll have two new two. Now you're like, hey, how do I know if I've completed this? That's a really good question. We'll click on the plus here. Now what this is going to do is add a property. So properties are the same thing as columns in Notion. And for this, what we'll do is choose a checkbox and I'll just call it a space bar. That way we don't have to see any text and I can drag this to the side. So now I can see if it's been completed or not. Now we'll add one more property by clicking on the plus here. And if we scroll down here, we can see this thing called a relation. Now relations might sound kind of confusing if you're learning Notion from scratch, but basically all you're saying is, hey, I want this database to talk to this database. So what we're going to do is say relate to, and here I'll write project, and here we are going to select the existing database. So that is this database here, project. So I'll click on that. And here I'm going to say no limit, and you're going to want to have two-way relation on, and I'll say add relation. So now if I click here, it should come up with project one and project two, and it does. So now to do one is to do with project one, and let's just say to do two is also to do with project one. Now check this out, check this out. If I click on project one, the tasks project to do two and to do one show up here. Now what we could do is rearrange this so tasks is its own separate section, but that's a bit more advanced. I'm kidding. You're ready for it, young Padawan. We're going to click on customize layout. And whoa, 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 this looks kind of confusing, but you're wrong, it's not. We're going to click on the plus here. And now we want this tasks here to show up. So all we're going to do is click on tasks. So now that and this is separate. So now if I say apply to all pages, look at that, the tasks show up here. And if we click on these three dots and click on this, we can now see if it's been completed or not. And because everything's connected, if I tick this and look at that, that's ticked in right there. Now we have our projects in here and we have our tasks. So now if you're new to Notion, the last thing you want to add is a calendar. So what we're going to do is write calendar here and here we can see calendar view. Now, instead of clicking on new calendar, we don't want a new calendar, okay? We don't. What we want is our tasks. We want to see this as a calendar. So what I'm going to do is once again, click on the existing database of tasks. So now if I scroll down, I can see my tasks here. And you might be thinking, why isn't to do one and to do two coming up here on my tasks? 
Well, it's because it doesn't have a date property. Now, as you can see, automatically this date property appeared here. That is because for a calendar to exist, it needs to have a date property, obviously. Think about it. So what we're going to do is click on to do one here and I'll select today. Wow, look at that. To do one is showing up here and we'll do the same thing with to do two. I'll click on tomorrow and look at that. It's showing up there. Now, the cool thing here, if you're completely new to Notion is you can literally just drag this about like that. It is really, really useful. I use Notion to plan out my entire week, my entire month, every minute of my day, every minute of my life. I am obsessed with Notion. If you can't tell, Notion is my only personality trait. Now, there is one last thing that I would learn if I was starting Notion from scratch. So we have our project in here and it's coming up with our tasks. That's awesome. And obviously I can write stuff in here as well. Then we have our calendar showing up here. So we have the three main ingredients for a good dashboard. However, here I'm going to see all of my tasks, two, two, three, even if they've been completed. Oh, that is annoying. So what are we going to do? Well, if we were living like this, where we had a to-do list like that, and then we had one, two, three, and you tick these off, what's happening is you're going to end up having a very, very long list of completed items. And it's just going to be really confusing. It's too much for the eye. We don't want that. Your brain can't handle that much visual stuff. Now, if you're new to databases, don't be too overwhelmed, but we have filters, we have sorting, we have automations as well, and we have groups. These three things are so, so powerful and you can do so much with them. And it's how I built my entire headquarters template. Cough, cough, hint, hint, link in the description. But what we're going to do here is right click on table and we are going to duplicate. So this here is a tab and here this is going to be uncompleted. And the other one here, the table one, I'm going to rename this and this is going to be called all tasks. So I have my uncompleted and all tasks. So now what I want to do is use this powerful tool called a filter. And this truly is the last major thing that I would learn if I was learning Notion from scratch, learning how to use filters. So you'll click on filter and we are going to filter this by the checkbox property because here we only want to see the stuff that is unchecked. So now the others have been removed, but we haven't deleted them like we did with the scenario before. Instead, what we've done is just hide it from this tab. So that filter is just applied to this tab. So now if we click on all tasks, you can still see all of this stuff and you can use filters and sorting and groups to do so much. I have it automatically organizing my task list using the Eisenhower matrix. I use it for scheduling out my day. I use it for time tracking based on which projects and life buckets I'm doing. You can do so much with them. Now, if you want to learn about page structures, text formatting and all that stuff, then click on this video. Or if you just want my ultimate productivity notion template, then click on this tour video here. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.